12 whole minutes. For those of you that stuck with me to the end, thank you. Um, so, that went fairly quickly. Um, because this is an inner structure piece, I wasn't too concerned with it warping. Um, a lot of strength here actually, because it's got this fold here and there's another 90 degree right above it. So, uh, you know, it's not really going to go anywhere. Um, I don't know if you noticed, I blew through in a couple of spots, got a little greedy trying to, some, some of these went pretty good, like right there, around that whole, I think that one is spot, spotted, like this, this is a run, run. Yeah, I think you can see where I blew through there. Blew through somewhere over here too. I think I blew through on the face of that. But uh, anyway, and then my gap that I was talking about that actually went pretty good. I guess I think I did that off camera. Yeah. And then these these um, plug welds. Some of them, you know, um, that weld through coating, uh, the nozzle is a bit screwed up on the. The can, so it, I don't know, it went on pretty thick. So it was kind of sputtering there when I started the weld, but burns through the stuff and gets it glued together. Just starting to do the final fitment on this uh, patch panel. So I know, I already know it's too long here. I don't know if you can see that. It's uh, this 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 starts to turn in right about here, and the turn in is over here. So it's about probably well, it's going to be close to a three sixteenths of an inch too long by the time I get this fitted because this is going to move back right now it's overlapping so that's going to move back um, so I just I want to get an idea of how the fender is going to fit this just the way it is because actually there's a gasket that goes in here so if that fender fits on there nice and, there, and then there's a gap up here it fits tight to that but with a gap up here and then this shape is good then I'll know that, that I've got a good shape and I'll just have to readjust where it rolls in bring it back here I got a lot of extra material here um, you see that so I, I, I can cut all of this off because I want it to I want it to only be as wide as this right here so I can cut that off quite a bit. So I'm going to hang the fender on it and see what it looks like. Stay tuned. Oh boy. So here's something I didn't quite pick up on. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but this this here looks like, I mean, this thing's been patched and everything, so it's kind of hard to tell. But, um, this here, this here, this part, it, it rises up quite a bit more like from here to here than it does back here. This is almost, the part's almost flat. So maybe we can see it if we lay it on this piece of wood here. See, see what I'm talking about? So if that's flat on there and then, see that? That's, that's up off the, the wood. So what, I, what I'm getting at here, and then if you look at this, the back of this is, 
that corner there is quite sharp. When I talk about corner, I mean it comes down here and then wraps around. It's quite it's quite a tight bend. So you, you see what's going on here? The fender has a gap there. And I think this should come out. This should come out like this. And then a little bit tighter radius and go up. Like I don't know how much that's going to be noticeable when it's all said and done. But what I could do is I could tighten this bend up here a little bit and just kind of taper it out to the front because this has to be where it is. Like this has to be. This has to, that has to stay like that. Um, I noticed on the other side, this is kind of like, it's kind of like this. It's kind of hanging down like that. Right? There's a transition that goes along and it bumps up to this. So, but the way I've got this thing set up here, it's got to go there. This has to go up meet the opening so I could I could I could tighten this up a bit here maybe flatten it out here a bit tighten it up down there and then I mean it fits the fender pretty good this gap here is good but I need more I need to kind of drop this all down somehow I don't think I can do that I think I'm screwed. Um, yeah. Shorten the fender. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I mean, the, the rocker molding comes along here and it hangs down like this. So, it's going to kind of cover that. Don't know what to do. I'm gonna play around with it a bit. So I did some messing around with this, and look at that. I realized the fender was a little low too, so that was a big part of it. So the fender was kind of down here like that. If I push the fender up where it's supposed to be. It uh, looks pretty good, so the bottom of the fender is now level with the, pretty much, it's a little bit lower, but uh, there, there's a big kind of a rust thing there that'll, that'll go up. And I'm going to try something, <clears throat> try something here. <clears throat> See that? Can you actually see the fender? Can't see anything now. Can't see. So this is kind of down here. So yeah, that's good. There's still a little gap there. Well, mind you, there's nothing left. The fender's all gone there. The fender's all, so I'll build, when I, when I fix the fender, I'll, I'll curl it over into there. This, this is all, well, there is actually some metal there, but I'm gonna do that anyway, just to fill that gap in. So I mean it's it's all good now. Like it's it's level with the bottom of the rocker. So we we can get away with that. Looks good. All right. No, this is really 
really looking good now. Look at even better. The only reason there's a gap there is because that part of the fender is missing. So once I rebuild this fender, that little bit sticking out there. That you know, this is right where it needs to be all the way along. So that's looking really good now. I, I did a bit more work on the, the corner of the patch panel. Tightened up that bend quite a bit. This is all budding out here. See the gap? A little bit more work to do on that and I can start to weld it in. I'm gonna paint it all inside. I don't know if you can see how that sort of drops in like the, the original panel now. So it's the original piece. So you can see you can see the back side of it, but here you can't really see it because it's see it drops down. So the angle, this angle changes, it's more, it's more like this, like steeper, and then as it gets to the back it twists and more or less flattens out there. So you can see if I, see how the, you know this part dis is disappearing there, but then you can see See that? You can still see it over here, right here. It's disappearing there, but you can still see it there. I don't know if you get that. So yeah, so this this part kind of widens out to the fender, which is interesting. Take a look at the inside here. You see the gap below there, you can see. So that's not right up against there. I think I'm gonna push this up a little bit though. Yeah, this, is, this does have to go up a little bit. Anyways, I like it. That fender's fitting really good now. Got a Clico in there. That's where it's gonna be. There's a bit of a tiny gap down there, but once we fix the fender, that'll all be fixed up. So I think I blabbed about this enough. I just had to look at it again. It's all good, that's where it is, that's where it's going to be welded right there.